Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Steven and this is Build Brothers. I have a lot of parts to show you. I ordered a bunch. I know I said I was going to do a video on the ordering process, but everything happened so quickly. The Mustang community is pretty awesome and there's a lot of people who have extra parts. So I ended up buying some used parts from some people. I ordered some parts, so I'm going to show you what we have. And I'm not going to do a full unboxing, but I'm going to just show you what we got. And then this video is mainly going to be more teardown. I got to get that frame, uh, the radiator support out of the car. Um, I bought a drill bit that can take out spot welds. So I want to do that, but instead of doing that through every single one, because I ordered a new radiator support, which I didn't get yet, um, I'm just going to use a cutoff wheel on a um, grinder and cut most of it off and then I'll drill out the spot welds uh, that are on the frame rails just to keep that safe and then my mission is to get the radiator, yeah, the radiator support out so that's the mission so I'm gonna walk over here show you the parts it's kinda messy in there it's my daughter's kinda playroom but I have a lot of parts in there so here we go let's check it out alright so here I got a used uh, bright yellow hood. The only the only damage, if you look in the light, might be able to see it. There is two dings that I see, one right here and one right over here. And then, according to the previous owner, they had a bra on it, and it looks like the bra gouged into it there. Which you may be able to see. Um, which we're gonna sand this down pretty heavily. I don't know. We'll try to pop those dents out, those dings. See what we can do with that. Uh, next, we have our Mishimoto Racing Performance uh, Radiator. I wanted to, you know, I didn't upgrade anything really yet. Most of the stuff is stock replacement. But I wanted to go a little bit better with the radiator just because I figure if I'm going to build anything up at first, let's do stuff that keeps the engine safe. So this is a nice, um, if you can see that in there, a nice aluminum radiator. I'm not sure how it compares in weight to stock, but it's supposed to cool better. So that's cool. Um, because we're doing the black and red theme, oh by the way, I'm going to paint this yellow hood. Everything that's not uh, red is going to be painted red. And that's going to be another video because I've never painted before. So I bought a paint gun, I have an air compressor. We're going to try. I mean, what's the worst that happens? I spend, spend some money on some paint and it comes out terrible. I'll just sand it down, reprimer it, and then send it somewhere to get painted. But It'll be kind of cool to see how it comes out. It'll be neat. I'll watch some videos. We'll try it. We can see the fails I do. You guys can follow along and maybe you can, if you want to try it yourself, you can learn from my mistakes. But in line with the black and red theme though, we have these. i pull one of these out to show you. I really like these. These are replacement headlights because the headlights are, um, are damaged. And if you can't tell, they are heavily tinted. Uh, let me pull this plastic off and you maybe you'll be able to see it. I'm making a big mess in this room too with these parts so so if you can see that that's pretty dark and that'll be nice that should give it that nice look so the backlights the taillights are not tinted and I don't know if I want to replace them with tinted options or if I want to just tint them if I want to buy the tint and do it myself either way they will be tinted eventually so that's something else um, yeah, I won't put this away right now I'll show you the final thing I have in here, which is kind of boring, is the fender. Um, can't really see it. It is an aftermarket one. I'm really hoping that it doesn't give me fitment issues. It is black primer right now, which doesn't matter because we're going to paint it. So, yeah, that's where we're at. So the next time you see me, we'll be in there. I'm going to start taking down some parts on the car. Oh, I did take the bumper cover off. So, so far, what we took off was the fender, bumper cover and I took the headlights out and the hood so the radiator support is the main damage part as well as the radiator so once I get that radiator support out and I take those welds off and I pull the radiator out that'll allow us to see what happened behind it to make sure there's not too much damage to anything else because I'll obviously have to replace those parts before I put the new radiator support in so if, you know if I have any bent pulleys or something like that I gotta get those ordered so we can get it done so that's a game plan. Get all that junk out of there so we can take a good look at it, figure out what we need to replace, 
Um, for example, there's no power steering when you drive the car. Clearly, something's up with that. I don't know if it's a wire that's cut, or if the... I don't know if it was damaged in the process, if the belt's off. I can't see anything because the radiator's smashed onto the belt. So, that's the game plan, just to go ahead and take everything out, figure it out, and then we'll... Okay, so I did some research. I'm not sure if you can see this, but uh, this is the part I ordered, the radiator support. And um, let, me, let me give you a look at that. Hang on. So I know this is a terrible way to do this, but you can see. Now, if you notice on the left and the right-hand side, it shows the um, headlight outlines over here and over here. So that shows that it goes all the way up the side so it actually goes and, and if I if you look on the car that's that entire rail along, along the front plus the two posts in the center so that means that's pretty much what I have to cut out so that's what I'm gonna do now we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and I disconnected the battery because I don't want to mess with the airbags I'm not sure where the airbag sensors are so that's the next thing I gotta look up and then um, once I make sure they're safe then I will start cutting
go. Yeah.